Hey everybody and welcome to the video that many of you uh, wanted me to make and that is uh, this car's uh, fuel consumption in the city to do a test and see how well or bad this car is gonna perform in the city now I'm gonna put a text of a uh, specification of this car so to not waste time of telling you but just the basics uh, this is the Lexus IS250 from 2009 it has the sport package with the uh, the bigger and sportier wheels now I'm not gonna just uh, test and show you the fuel consumption in the city but I'm also gonna tell you a few tips and tricks of how to improve your fuel economy while not going that slow and for this test I'm not gonna drive like a grandma I'm gonna drive normally so the test is gonna be as realistic as possible anyway without further ado let's start And this is gonna be a starting point. We're gonna start from this shopping mall and we're gonna end the, the driving here and see the fuel consumption at the end. So average, the engine is also cold. So let's go. So the first thing to keep in mind is this car when it's standing, it it uses a lot of fuel probably because it's a v6 there's more cylinders to um to keep it going so as you can see it's already like 21 liters per 100 kilometer which is very bad but it's gonna go down as we go so the first tip that you can do even during normal driving is um to not accelerate, to not put, push the gas pedal so much because this automatic transmission then thinks you're in a bit of a rush so it changes the gears a bit late and it goes into a higher RPMs it's also a relaxing way to drive and once you get into the higher gears then you can give a bit more gas but it's just a matter of learning also the automatic transmission and you will get better and better uh, the more you know So right now it's 10 liters per 100 kilometers. Today is 30 degrees outside, so not a, um, so it's it's hot, but it's not that hot. As I'm cruising right now, this car is uh, very economical. Like when you're just cruising at low speeds, uh, what destroys this car's uh, fuel economy is just stop and go, stop and go. Today is Thursday and I'm hoping there's not gonna be that that big of a traffic uh, I just want it to be average uh, right now I don't have my aircon on but when I start to go back home I will keep the aircon working uh, till I get till I get back to my destination just so there's gonna be an average uh, with and without uh, the aircon so far so good uh, there's not uh, big enough traffic it's just normal which is what I like everything to be average okay I'm close to my destination which is in city center for those who don't know uh, I'm from Serbia and in capital city of Belgrade so far so good uh, 9.3 uh, is not bad again if I get if I get under 10 liters, that, that would be a success. Of course, this is not a diesel uh, with lots of uh, torque and it has two extra cylinders and it's heavy. And as you can see, we ran into a bit of a traffic jam and because of, because of that, my average fuel consumption already went over 10 liters, but okay, now we're on, on the move. And now I have to find a parking somewhere here because I want to make a situation where uh, the fuel consumption when you go somewhere you park and you come back I don't wanna just continue driving back home so to be for this test to be as realistic as possible okay I found a place that I can I 
Lincoln Park. Okay, it's a bit of a tight squeeze, but I think I got it. Okay, I got a bit lucky with the parking space. Usually that's not the case in Belgrade, but yeah, I found the parking pretty pretty quick but and as you can see 10.8 so yeah I'm gonna go eat and then I'll come back and drive home all right 11.3 I was fiddling with cameras so the car was running in place and that just that just shows you how when it's standing it uses a lot of fuel. Okay, finally. <sighs> All right. Turning on the aircon. I'm going to set it to auto. Alright, right now I'm in the central square, as you may, as you can see, there's a lot of, uh, the traffic is now too much, as you can see they're even honking. Yep, this is, it's already went to 13 liters. The further away from city center we go, the, the less traffic there is, so... We'll see, I hope it's gonna get up, like around 10 liters per 100 kilometer, we'll see. Again, I'm not gonna drive uh, like a grandma, like as you can see I'm driving like how I normally would. As you can see my aircon is on. I just had to lower it because it's blowing too much cold air that I'm starting to freeze. Now the next tip on how to improve the, the fuel economy while not driving driving so slow is to use this to use this car's uh, rolling re good rolling resistance. Um, what I mean by that is you don't have to. Okay, right now it's red. I don't have to give any gas. I can just let the car uh, just roll. You just need to pay attention to the traffic lights or. Um, a car stopping uh, further away so you can let go of the gas you, you don't have to hold the gas until you're close to the car and then you have to brake I mean that way you also uh, save a bit of brakes okay right now okay, I'm still get, giving gas and now I just let go of the gas as you can see my leg I'm not doing anything it just goes it doesn't even have to be downhill even on the straight roads like it really uh, keeps the speed on while not wasting any fuel so already as you can see 12.4 it's gonna go probably even more down I'm still not using the gas and we're going fairly quick and it's also more relaxing uh, just okay 12.2 and are we gonna catch the green light just just barely okay I don't know what this BMW is doing all right less less traffic now now that we're further away from the city center now this is a bit of a downhill section so when I was going to the city I was going the same the same road just on the other side. I have to take the next turn right so again 
I can just let go of the gas and the car is gonna roll and slowly slow down. But of course you have to use the brakes a little bit. And we are around five minutes away from our destination that we started and I think it's gonna be in the 11 liters range which isn't bad but in many cases I was in the 10 liter per hundred kilometer range but that's okay there was more more traffic jams than I expected so there's the garage And the final is 11.4. Not bad. Okay, let me park. Not a bad fuel consumption. Okay, okay, I'll park here. And how many kilometers did we do? 12.4. So yeah, many of you wanted me to make this video so I did and for this uh, smooth engine it's it's pretty good that is very relaxing to drive and uh, you don't stress at all during driving so yeah I hope you enjoyed this this fun fun test and I'll see you in the next one bye